YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Wiles, right? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Solo Leveling Arise. Sorry about the game audio. I apologize. It's because I had my phone turned down and I thought I could still record the audio. Audio, it couldn't. Whatever. We're moving on. Let me tell you about this chapter. Chapter fifteen. Okay. It gave me so much trouble over the last few days because I was strong enough. But what had happened was since I play on auto, um, auto most of the time, I just kind of dodge stuff. I always get hit. Like you can see how much damage it's been doing to me already. Even though if I try to avoid because it's auto, auto attacking, sometimes I can't avoid out of some attacks and I just get so much damage done to me. So by the time I get to the boss, I'm like low HP and I got to perfect the boss in order to beat it. And you have to do like each each section of this has three of these pillars you got to destroy. I, at first, I thought, OK, you know what? Maybe I just I can just defeat the monsters, defeat the pillar like some other levels and go about my business. Right. No, I learned that you have to probably destroy the pillars first. And then go forward. And then while you're going forward at the same time, you pro you have this. Wall chasing you and if you go too slow the wall of fire will close in on you and do an insane amount of damage like you can see that i have little hp going into this boss fight right here very very little hp I'm walking right into this boss fight and even though I could easily like one v one this boss with like full HP. I'm an idiot, and because I'm playing on auto with uh, auto play, like my guy goes straight into an attack, and if I try to avoid mid attack, it starts to cool down to the attack, which is actually disappointing. So I completely understand why people you play on PC and they use the controller whenever they can, which I might start doing if I can record my um, iOS gameplay while using a controller. That would be really cool. I'm gonna try that out. But man, these levels were so, so, so annoying. Bosses are easy for the most part. I had to switch up some skills as well, too. But man, were they absolutely annoying. And unfortunately, again, I'm sorry about the audio because it was very interesting to hear what he was saying in the cutscene. Mind you, you can still read it, you know. Yo, my shadows help me get through the souls pretty quickly, but I wonder, is there, you know, you, you, you can read it. Mind you, I am kind of tapping it through at the same time. If you can see my, my imprint there showed up every time I tap the screen. But this is like pretty much a very interesting chapter and the last chapter before you unlock uh, the reverse mode and the, you know, further chapters going along, which is kind of interesting. I didn't know. After you beat chapter 15, like anything happened, I thought it was just over and you just can continuously get a certain amount of XP up until that point. Like, you know, like it, it increases, but that's besides the point. Another boss fight, I skipped through all the ads so you guys didn't have to sit through it and see me struggle. Once again, low HP, low HP, and you can see the firewall right there behind me. Ran into that so many times and ended up dying because it just takes away my HP. Like, look at this. Look how low HP I am because I just, playing on auto, I just, I can't dodge every attack. Also, I don't have, um, what is it, the ability where you can kind of create a black hole to bring all the mobs together and kill them. I don't have that skill yet. So when that skill, uh, when I unlock that skill, that's going to be great because then, It'll make going through ads a lot easier. So when I'm playing this game, I just usually only hold on to skills that do AOE effect. And that's that's what I keep to myself the entire time. It's just AOE effect skills when I'm when I'm going through story mode, that is. If I'm doing like a boss run, like if I'm fighting Igris or Cerberus or the Arachnid, you know, the bots that have break, I'll just I won't strictly go to break, but both my skills will have either medium or high or almighty break damage. It'll, obviously, I'm just going to do those, but doing story mode, 
I usually stick with um skills that would do AoE effect. And if they do AoE effect plus break damage, that's even better. But that's why I have uh, CO and I have, is it May? No. You know who I'm talking about. I also have Chot too for damage, but that's besides the point. I keep, that's my, that's my team I'm running. I'm sure you've seen it in the intro and I'm sure you've seen it in many other videos. I'm going to do account an account update because I have progressed a little bit further. This is post commentary. If you haven't noticed, I will be doing a, an account update for my channel. I'm also going to post it on TikTok. So if you want to follow me on there, that'd be great too. But I do have a question for all you guys when it comes to your shadows. How do you guys upgrade it? Like I've gotten both shadows. I've gotten Igris. I got I got Barack. I think that's how you say his name. I got both of them. But the thing is, I'm not sure if I should unlock a third one or just continue to upgrade Igris or Baraka. Because having that extra percentage of damage every fight is very helpful or crit dam or crit percentage is very helpful because I haven't Max out my crit. I think it's only at like 30% right now. But I think upgrading Igris to get maybe that extra 2% per level or something like that would be beneficial or helpful. But I'm just not sure. Because honestly, I don't feel the biggest impact when it comes to using uh, the shadows in battle at the current moment, at their base form. So, but it, I know it does help, but still, regardless. But we've been progressing through the story and I'm pretty much done now. Um, I've reached a standstill point where I can't really go any further because I'm not strong enough. And I'm stuck on hard mode. Pretty much you fight Igris. I'm at the point where you fight Igris on hard mode. But you can't. I can't kill them fast enough. To progress to Igris, which would unlock more challenges for me to complete. I've done a lot of challenges. I think I've done chapter 13 and challenges that I've completed. So I'm pretty much, I've progressed a lot. It's just pretty much, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty much mid game right now. I haven't quite reached end game yet, but I'm, I'm mid game. I'm sure if I did some upgrading on my armor, I could reach uh, like 70 K power with uh, Sun Jin Wu, but I want to get the right artifacts first before I, you know, go crazy on the on the upgrades for it so right now this is the actual final boss of the chapter who i thought the intro for it was really cool and again i'm sorry you guys can experience it because there's no um gameplay sound on it i again i'm not quite sure what happened i think it's because when i was playing i had my volume down because i was talking to somebody at the same time so i apologize for that and that won't happen again i'll make sure it doesn't happen again but I think next, since we pretty much completed the uh, story, even though I know there's more to the story, we're going to focus on like account progression as well as maybe some other missions and other bosses uh, we will fight. Let's focus on the story as much. I'll, I'll do that part on my own time. But this boss here was actually pretty fun to fight and it was, it was different from what you fight most of the time. Especially like every day when you fight a rack net in service every single day. But I wasn't sure. Again, taking a lot of damage. Thank God for CU for providing shields. But yeah, I got through a lot of waves because she uh, adds shields. And I suck at dodging and I'm also playing on auto. So that'll be correct. As you can see, look at my HP. It's gone. HP is absolutely gone because of one attack. That's why I know I've reached a point where like, yo, things are hitting me a lot harder than expected. I also, if you didn't know, I unlocked a new blessing, which sometimes re, uh, resets my um, my dodge. So, like, if I'm low on one dodge and it, uh, I get lucky and it resets, I get, like, four more dodges. So, that was a huge uh, blessing upgrade I got. And look at this. I, I If you didn't know, I, I died there. I died there. And it's not looking good for me right now. Taking a lot of damage, but we get the break. And this is where we can do a lot of damage. I think I really think I'm going to start playing with controller. I just got to get good with controller and fully understand the uh, kind of combos you can do with the team I have. 
but this guy was a cool boss. So other than Igris, this guy was a cool boss. And this this story part is actually so interesting. Like I can't wait for the this to for them to animate this. And Anim animate to this, sorry. So cool, man. So cool. Anyway, it's been your boy Wow is right. I just wanted to come to you guys and uh, let you know what's going on with some post commentary. And I hope you guys enjoy this. More content on the way. And let me know what your thoughts on the game and where your account's at and your uh, combat power, what characters you have and what you've pulled and everything like that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.